I guess Lindsay here with Sturdy Family Farm. So today I've been quite busy trying to get a lot done in a very short amount of time because it is honestly, it is set to rain pretty much every single day for the next like week and a half. Um, and as you guys know, it's already been a really wet spring here in Ohio. So it's been kind of a scramble trying to get things done and keep up with different things around here just because everything has been so saturated and so wet. Um, so I actually, today I cleaned out the barn partially just so that way I can steal some of that spent hay from the goats um, to essentially pad the walkway to, to elevate it so that way instead of walking through this much mud, then you're walking through this much hay that's on top of it. So hopefully that'll slowly break down and make it so that way it's not so slippery and not so, so much of a muddy mess over the next few days as it starts raining. Um, so I also had started working on in the past few days trying to get a duck and geese mobile coop thing built um, on top of an old trailer base that I found here. So I got the flooring of it all laid out. It's just a plywood floor. Um, I got the framing all done for it. I got the flooring done, but I was not able to start working on any of the walls or the ceilings because I seen that it was supposed to rain. So I started trying to focus on other things. Part of why it felt so imperative that I get that project at least that far done is because of the fact that since we have little baby ducklings, they can't handle being out in the constant rain very well because they don't have full feathers. They just still have like a little bit of down. Um, and it makes it so that way they can at least get underneath of it. Um, so that way they can get out of the sun, out of the heat, out of the rain. So it'll basically just make it so that way it's more comfortable for them and they're less likely to have any issues. Um, in the past, what we did before we had the little ducks was whenever it was set to rain a whole bunch, we actually just barricaded almost like a chute to get from the from the duck and geese paddock back to the barn. So that way when they were done with the water, done with the rain, they could then just come in and out. However, because them little ducks have only been in there and integrated with the rest of the duck flock for, I think it's been about two weeks now, they still haven't figured out the whole art of coming in and out of the barn very well. And I honestly... I don't want to risk any of them getting lost or, you know, abducted by a falcon or a hawk or an eagle or anything of the sort because as it is right now, the geese have been super duper protective of these little babies, which is making it very difficult to get anywhere near there without the geese going bananas. Um, Tracy actually got bit by with a male goose because she was throwing some grass clippings to the baby ducklings and, you know, everybody else and Hook thought that she was, you know, too close to the babies and it was, it was a dangerous situation. So he actually ran up to her and bit her. He's also attacked the turkey boys because of the fact that they got too close to the babies and he didn't like that. So it's kind of, the geese are definitely earning their keep right now with making sure that the little baby ducklings are staying safe and secure. But it is kind of kind of frustrating because they're extra, extra loud, extra protective, and it's making things kind of just difficult. Um, so I did get that trailer all done. I got it so that way it's tarped. There's plastic on it so the plywood won't get messed up when it does rain. But I did also have to run more fencing to sort of just include it into the paddock area. So that was kind of a scramble. I, I really don't like doing fencing, especially when there's a time constraint because then you can't take breaks. It's very painful on your fingers to try to get them little metal hooky ducks um, just sort of secured in. Fencing is definitely my least favorite homestead project and I have done a lot of it in the past year. So it's kind of kind of turning into an old pro edit, but not a big fan. Um, so I'm actually going to try to get a few more things done before it starts raining just because, well, this is the last bit of outside time I'm going to be able to get without having to have a poncho or a raincoat on and kind of prefer the sunshine a little bit. So if you guys are enjoying this content, please give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends on social media. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to help us grow. We'd greatly appreciate it. All right. Thanks for watching. Have a good one, guys.